Welcome to a Miller Online Tutorial. Before us is this question in trigonometry ratio and it says prove that sine 3a equals 3 sine a minus 4 sine raised to the power of a i 3a. Alright, now to begin with, let us recall the trigonometry uh, identities. So, some of the identities where we have sine a plus b which will give us a uh, sine a cos b then plus cos a sine b all right now since we are giving 3a here you can say that our 3a could could be a plus 2a all right now if we now replace our b for 2a there so here you have 2a which means wherever you see b here you replace it with 2a so here you have sine a cos 2a then plus uh cos a then sine 2a all right now that we've express this which implies that this is now sine 3a which is sine a cos 2a now plus cos a sine 2a okay now let us now find cos 2a and sine 2a all right now let us also recall that cos a plus b now will give us cos a cos b minus sine a uh, then sine b all right let us now replace if 2a becomes a plus a let us now plug in a plus a for this here we have cos a plus a then this will give us cos a now cos a so wherever you see our a i mean b replace it for a then minus sine a sine a all right now this moves okay we, this here now becomes a uh, cos square a then minus sine raised power 2a okay now this is cos 2a all right now at this point here also let us uh find the value of uh cos square uh cos raised to, cos raised power 2a so at this point here now let us recall that cos 2a plus sine i mean sorry not 2a this is the power of 2 sine the power of 2a equals 1 so the sum of these two squares equals 1 all right now if we are to make cos square a the sort of formula now we get to have cos square a then equals 1 minus sine square a now if you now plug in this into this here so our cos sorry cos 2a will become plugging in this now here you have 1 minus sine square a then minus sine square a okay all right and clean this so here you have that cos 2a then equals 1 minus you can see this and this they are similar becomes 2 sine square a okay all right now that we've gotten cos 2 square a which is this so now we we'll need to get sine 2a okay now following this also if you are to represent this as a and also as a 
which is what our 2a so this can be sin a cos a now plus cos a sin a now and this you can see that this and this is a common term so this will now give us 2 sin a cos a all right okay now that we've gotten the value of uh, sine 2a, right, and we've gotten cos 2a, let us now plug it into this equation here, all right? So as we plug in these two values into this expression here, into this, so here we have sine 3a then equals sine a. Now take note that you can see that this is sine and sine. So what it, it implies here that all or whoever will be solving here will be ensuring that they are all sine. So here we have cos a. Now sorry sine a then cos 2a is this. So we we'll plug in 1 minus I mean 1 minus 2 sine square a now plus now uh our cos here cos a now sine 2 a here is giving us 2 sine a cos a okay now opening the bracket here we have sine a now sine a times 1 then sine a times 2 sine uh, 2 sine square a will give us 2 sine cube root of a not cube root cube then plus now this multiplying by this so here you have 2 sine a cos square a all right okay now let us recall that sine square a plus cos square a equals 1 now here let us now make cos square a is so a formula we have that cos square a equals 1 minus sine square a that is if you are to uh, subtract uh, sine square a from both sides so you have this now plugging this into this here you have sine a minus 2 sine cube a plus 2 sine a now into 1 minus sine square a now if I to open the bracket there you have sine a minus 2 sine cube a now plus opening this bracket here we have uh, 2 sine a that is 2 sine a times 1 will give us this then minus here you have 2 sine cube a all right now let us now collect like terms you can see this have it has a term with this and this has a term with this so you have sine a now plus 2 sine a then minus 2 sine cube a minus 2 sine cube a sorry now when we add this together you have 3 sine a then here you have minus 4 sine cube a so finally we've now proven that sine 3 a equals 3 sine a minus 4 sine cube a all right this is the solution and if you love what I've just done, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel and ensure you click on the notification button to be notified of all my videos. Thank you and God bless you.